everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, and I have a fun project for you. Take a look at this quilt behind me. This is our take on the asterisk quilt, and because the synonym of asterisk is ditto, that's what we're calling it, the ditto quilt, because you basically do the same block, and we just do it over and over, and it makes this cool look. So to make this block, it's basically made out of five inch squares and you're gonna take your whole pack and you're gonna cut it on the diagonal, just like this. All right, so you can stack up a few. I generally recommend four, five, depending on how sharp your blade is. And then you're gonna have these two pieces, you're gonna put a black strip in between them. Now you want your black strip to be long enough that when you square it, it actually points, makes the point out here on either side. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a piece at about eight inches. And that's a little bit of overkill, but it'll be, it'll be good when you get it, you know, so you don't have a short corner. All right, so let me look at this right here. We've got our ruler seven and a half. We're gonna go up here to eight. All right, now you wanna center these. And so I'm just gonna fold this right here and finger press a little fold line right here on both sides. And then I'm going to open them back up and I'm going to take my black strip right here and I'm going to fold it in half as well. So I'm just going to take this right here and fold it right in half and I'm going to crease both sides of this. You can do this with your iron or you can finger press it or you can make a little mark on there. And then you want these creases to all line up next to that crease. So basically I'm going to take this one and I'm going to lay it on here. And if you, if you fold them so that, you know, your, your crease is down, those will like nest into each other when you lay them on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew this quarter of an inch on this side. Now you'll notice we've used a black and white fabric for this. You know, it's two color project. So these kind of projects make great like college quilts if you want two colors, you know, or, or things like that where um, I just love two color quilts. I just think they're very, very pretty, very stark. This one I think is just gorgeous. Oh, I was gonna iron that, but you know what? What we wanna do is we wanna add the other side on this because if we iron it first, we will lose our little pleat and we will have to do that over. So I'm going to sew this side down, quarter of an inch right here. And you wanna, visually you wanna check to make sure that they're still lining up and then you can lay those two little creases on top of each other. All right, now we'll press it. And so I'm just gonna come right over here, move these things out of the way, and I'm just going to press it from the top and I'm gonna roll it back this side and roll it back that side. You wanna make sure there's no pleats or anything on here. And then we need to square this block. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab any squaring tool and I just have a 10 inch ruler here. As long as it has this uh, type of a diagonal on it, you can use it to square. I like to fold my block like this and then make sure that these two strips are lined up, make a little crease here because that's gonna tell me where the center of the strip is and make a little crease here. And so then when I lay my ruler on there, I'm gonna be able to see the line is going right up the middle. My edges are lined up right here and this should be a five and a half inch square. So watch out here, watch these lines as well. And then we're just gonna trim this off right here. So this has a nice sharp corner on it and we will flip it around and do the other side. So five and a half, line down the middle, lines up here. Then we're gonna trim up this little side right here. So you're gonna do this to all your squares and then we're gonna put four of these together. So what we're gonna do, this is our end block right here. This is, this is what we're shooting for is this one right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our two pieces right here, and I have another one that's done, and we're gonna put a sashing strip right in the middle of there. And so you're gonna cut one that's just the right size for you, and so it'll be five and a half. It's the same size that your block is. So what this tells me is that whatever size squares you wanna use for this, it's gonna work. We're just gonna, we're just, you just have to make sure that this sashing piece fits the size of your block. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch down this one side right here. And then I'm gonna press this over. 
and then I'm going to add my other side to it like this, and I'll lay it right on top. Make sure that both of your, you know, make sure that you're sashing them so they're the same and they want to come toward the middle. And I'm just going to take this over to the sewing machine and line this up on the edge. There we go. And you want to watch, you know, this is a great time to check, make sure that you're lined up here and here because that will tell you it's good and square. All right, then what we're going to do is we're going to press this open. And we are then going to add a sashing row right down the center. So we have our two pieces right here, so close to being finished, I mean just like that. And then we're going to add a sash strip in here. And so we're going to lay this on here and sew a quarter of an inch right down the side. And this piece, let me, make, let me tell you what size this piece is. So this piece is 11 and a half, and that is the size you'll get with your two blocks with the sashing together. So it's one and a half by 11 and a half. And we are just going to sew this down the side. All right, then what we're going to do is we're going to press this back and we'll add the other side. Somebody asked me the other day, you stopped setting your seams. I'm like, oh, I just forget. I get in a hurry. Set your seam. Go ahead. You can set your seam. All right. Now, this one, see how this is hanging over just a little bit? That means I'm going to start on this side, and I'm just going to let this one uh, line up. And then if I do have a little extra, I'll just trim that off. So we're just going to come down this side like this. And you want to make sure... You know, this is really important. So you want to look right here where these two seams come together. Matter of fact, I'm going to come over here so you can see this really good. So you want to make sure that these two pieces are lining up because this is going to connect across, you know, across the C. So we want to make sure that these are lined up and you can see that visually. You can pin it if you like, but as you're putting these together, you need to, it's that sashing trick of being able to Make sure that everything stays lined up and together. All righty. So now we're going to press this open, and our block is complete. And there it is right there. Look how cool that is. Now let me show you how we set this, because we have one, two, three, four across by one, two, three, four, five down. So 20 blocks. And what we did was we put our blocks up here, but then we added a little one and a half inch sash in between every block. And then this is one long piece across here. And so when you do that, again, what you want to do when you get your, your sashing sewn on one side like this, you just want to make sure that when you line these up, you know, I start down here, make sure that they are lined up with the seam, and then I just slide them forward. And then I will often pull this up and check to make sure that we're still lined up. We're still going in the right direction, and those are going to line up. Because if you don't, if you don't check that, you could have to do some ripping, and we just don't want to do that. So again, we have 20 blocks in this quilt, and we have a little two and a half inch border out here on the edge. And again, the back of this, look how cool that quilting is. This is a quilting pattern called Sticky Buns. And it makes a quilt that is 51 by 63. So it's a nice little picnic size, take in the car, little lap quilt size, really fun. And remember, if you want it bigger, you just make more blocks. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the Ditto Quilt from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you are not already part of the Missouri Star Quilt family, you can hit the subscribe button below so you won't miss a thing. And if you click that bell, it'll notify you every time a new tutorial comes out. See you next Friday.